here with Rage and the Viking, Eric the Viking. I know you guys know the Viking, of course. You probably don't know Rage, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit about him. Rage actually trains the Viking. Um, MMA trains him with uh, his strength and conditioning. And uh, this guy looks like a real nice, happy, smiley guy. But when that switch flips, when you turn that switch on, this guy's a scary motherfucker. <laughs> So don't let this corny ass smile fucking fool you. <laughs> That's right. So anyway, today we're going to talk about stretching, which I am all about stretching. Stretching to me is so important. Nobody does it. It needs to be done more often for every sport out there. So he incorporates it in his MMA. He's got his own little system that he created, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. And I'm telling you, I want to know all I can because you guys know I'm all about stretching. So. Go to work. The mic is yours. The mic is mine. All right, brother. So, as a bodybuilder, right. if there was a, a style of exercise that I could just give you, uh -huh. in exchange for 5% of your strength and 3% of your power and speed, right. the exercises give you larger muscle mass. Okay. Would you make that trick? And that's for bodybuilding. I'm asking you, personally. Yeah. As a bodybuilder, yes, definitely. If I can give you something that for makes sure. you bigger, but costs you a little bit of strength, a little bit of power, right. you'd go with it. Definitely. As a bodybuilder, it's all about strength and size. So, right, definitely. So that's traditional stretching. Mm -hmm. And as you you figured that out decades ago, right? Actually, I heard you talking about how stretching the fascia creates room for the muscles to grow. Right. There's tons of science now supporting that. Mm -hmm. which you were talking about it before the science was out. <laughs> Kudos right to on. you. Uh, but now all the research is showing that stretching has a negative effect on strength and power. Uh huh. Not for bodybuilders or rhythmic gymnastic players, doers, I don't know, <laughs> or contortionists, that doesn't matter. Right. Uh, but for fighters, well, power is kind of the most important thing, in my opinion. Uh -huh. Nothing's more important than power. Right. So, flexibility is important. So I was stuck with this dilemma of, well, I want flexibility, I want my fighters to have flexibility, but I don't want to sacrifice any power. Right. So then I went on a quest of, well, is there a way to increase range of motion uh -huh. without actually losing power, without stretching. Uh -huh. And so, uh, yeah, that's the system I came up with. Uh, and you came up with an answer. I came up with an answer, <laughs> yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's called Neoronics. Uh -huh. So Neo means new, uh -huh. range of motion exercises. Okay, I like, yeah. I like it, I like it, I like it. And Viking has been doing it for a little over a year now. Yeah. Um, so if I can demonstrate some of the principles. Yeah, let's see it. All right. Better Viking than me. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think you do quite well. Okay. So if you're doing like traditional stretching, I'd take this leg, he'd lift, right? Mm -hmm. And we'd go as far as he can. And then I would come and force it further. Right. Right. That would be called passive stretching. I'm producing the force and he's being passive. Okay. Instead, what we do is First, a series of isometrics, okay? So instead of pushing, I'm holding, and he's pulling into me, go ahead, okay? Now, what that does is it causes a contraction on this side, causes a relaxation, it's called reciprocal inhibition, okay? Uh -huh. So it actually causes the hamstrings to relax through natural coordination. Mm -hmm. So now as he lifts his leg up, you'll see it goes a little bit further. Okay, now this stuff is out there, the, the isometric and the post-isometric relaxation. The thing that's cool is what we do, multi-axial force applications. So I'm going to push him, he's going to stabilize. Now normally, if he wasn't resisting, the foot would turn in and the leg would cable. Right? Okay. He's going to stabilize here, and he's going to come down, and now watch. So each time, he actually goes a little bit further, a little bit further, and there's no stretching occurring at all. Okay, so we're increasing the range of motion yeah. by introducing different angles of resistance. Right. Now, Viking, do you feel that? Do you feel it? I mean, do you feel it stretching more and more every time? Mm -hmm. Yep, I feel it. So that's, that's the basic principles. Um, unfortunately, everyone we have here is pretty flexible. Uh-huh. Because the, the one thing that's pretty cool is taking someone that can't touch their feet. And making them touch their feet. And making them touch their feet in 30 seconds. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, what's your name? Nick. Can I bring an instrument? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick, get up here. Yeah, he said you were like, uh, what did he say? 
Let's not repeat that. I got a train with him. Fuck you up. All right. So just like you know, old school, just like you're gonna touch your toes. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's pretty limber. Yeah. You lied to me, Corey. Guys, in your horseshoe. Lock your knees. Okay. And show me what you got. So that's pretty good. Oh. But is anyone worse than that? You're better than that, right? You can reach. Yeah, I'm better than that. And I know you're better than that. So this is the best we. This is the best bad we have. <laughs> <laughs> Lock your knees. Okay. Now, make this. Can you trust the ground with the fist? No. Okay. So we still have about yay far. Yeah. I'm gonna push here. You stabilize against me. Don't let me move it. Now stand up. Stand up. Good, now come back down. And just go just a tiny bit further, and then back up. And down. One more time. Now I'm not actually pushing him down. Yeah. My force is perpendicular to his Yeah. Body. But what's happening neurologically, I'm recruiting more muscles, uh -huh. so the reciprocal inhibition signal is stronger uh -huh. than it would be if you were just reaching to the ground. Right. That's crazy, that's fucking unbelievable. Like I, it's hard for me to even believe what is really happening. <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> it's, a, it's a trick, right? Okay, now put your knuckles on the ground. Lock your knees. Put your knuckles on the ground. Ding. Yeah. Wow. That's Thank you. Crazy. Crazy. Thank you. <laughs> wow, it's pretty crazy. Right. So if we were to try and do that with traditional old school stretching, uh -huh. it would take six weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right. Lock and then pain, ripping, injury, repairing. great, great trick. Right. So. When you stretch, over stretch, you're you're damaging the muscle That's an fibers. That's an and they have to repair themselves and grow back stronger. Yep. And slowly become limber and yep. limber. But so, yeah, but it is damage being done. Yeah. Um, do you want to? Or those are the principles. Yeah. Um, it's pretty amazing. Now we, we so have, how do people find out about how do people find out more information on this? Hey, uh, we have the entire system. Step by step, we have an introduction. It's called Neuromics. Mm -hmm. It's on my YouTube channel. Okay. And if we can put a link from your channel to my channel, uh -huh. I think that's probably the easiest way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that's some pretty crazy shit I just saw. It's hard to believe that that even just happened, you know, because it happened in seconds as opposed to this would take. So my suggestion is everyone out there, research a little bit and give this shit a try because what I just saw is, is amazing. If you can accomplish that, in a few minutes, what would take weeks or months. The, you know? the, the downside is you do need a partner. Yeah. You gotta have a partner, and your partner has to be fairly confident. But, yeah. you know, you have somebody that spots you, hopefully they're confident too, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you want to try this? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you don't back or what? Yeah, yeah, let's just. Okay. Oh. All right. So we'll start with the baseline. Right. Okay. So you're probably quite flexible because I've seen the stuff you do. Yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna uh, take your ankle or your toes to your ankle mm -hmm. or dorsiflex, extend your knee and lift up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, see so you're already past nine. Lock the knee. There you go. That's good. So this is gonna be our baseline, just below 90 degrees of hip flexion. Okay. Okay. So all right. Lock this other knee. Ooh, nice surgery. Lock. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Yeah, patella tear. Awesome. Okay, so um, pull it. Yeah, and come. So good. So we're about symmetrical. Oh my. Actually, a little less range of motion on this leg than this leg. But okay. That's cool. One more time. Lock, lock, lift. Right leg up. Okay. So first, what you want to do is extend the knee as much as possible. Lock the knee. Mm -hmm. Lock this, and then bring it up slowly. There you go. Now I'm going to hold here, mm -hmm. and very lightly just pull into my hand. That's too hard. Lighter, lighter, there. And relax. So it's light, medium, hard. Right. Next, over here. Lock your knee. Light. Good. And so with the, the graded, intensity, graded intensity isometrics, mm -hmm. uh, it's more about consistency. Uh -huh. Right? So come up, and you want to keep it a constant pull that way. Yeah. A moderate intensity now. So okay. Pull. Excellent. Excellent. Good. And my hip flexor is cramping a little bit because my hip flexors hip flexors are not trained <laughs> in very this, well right now in this position. Right. 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 So every muscle gets strong based on the range of motion that you take it through. 
Right. And if we take it into a new range of motion that's never worked before, right. it's yeah. not going to like it, right? Yeah. So positionally, it's weak. And that's, that would be the, the, the top of the kick, it would be that hip flexion muscle right there. Oh, that quite possible. weak right now. Yeah. So basically, my kicks right now are weak as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Other leg. Up, 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 up. And go. And moderate contraction, pull. There we go. And important to maybe remind them about like, when you're doing it with your partner that the partner is not shortchanging them by, oh, you know, you, you did that fairly well, but like keeping everything, you know what I'm saying, emphasizing. Like, yeah. Well, the, the toe pointed down makes a huge difference. Sure. Yes. Sure. As soon as you point that toe down, you feel you're, it. You relax. If your toe's yeah. up, you don't feel anything. If your partner's right. not noticing that, you know, you need to be reminded of it. Right. It. If I was doing this, and he didn't remind me to point my toe, yeah. I wouldn't be getting it's any real, benefit. That's what I'm saying, it's real key for the That everything is done right. Real, yeah. Real key, yeah. Real key, that and key. The, other, the other tendency that people have is they tend to rush it. Right. Right? So each of these movements you hold for seven seconds, mm -hmm. and you know, people start trying to rush through it and right. shorten the, the range of motion. And I used to Well, what's crazy is I'm, I'm having, the pain is here and not here. Right. I have nothing going on in my hamstring, because, which is what I'm stretching, but I have everything going on here. Because that's what's working. Right? Yeah. Lock, lock, toes down, and pull this way. And I used to kind of give me a little crunch with your abs and pull me across the ring. Yeah. Stronger. Stronger. More. More. Yes. <laughs> so I used to do the same thing and, and rush it because I'm thinking, man, mm -hmm. my brother's fucking full of shit. This is not going to fucking work. <laughs> and so I wanted to get busy and start getting into the shit until. I actually took the time to do it and found that this shit works. Yeah. Because it was starting to help me like big time. Right. And I had it in my head like, what the fuck is this? Because stretching was always yeah. like, that one I felt my quads. Until, my quads got like cramped. Right. On so that he, one. he pushed it on me and made me a believer. I made him do it. Yeah. And now I regret it because I'm the one that has to hold the pads for him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It sure works. It should definitely work. Okay. So now you're going to lock, lock, uh -huh. pull. I'm going to take away. Okay. Oh, come on here. Hold right there. I'm going to apply pressure here. Okay. Don't let me move. Okay. Now, take your toes to your nose, and then back up. Right to there. Okay, now see how you're off center? Oh, there okay. you go. Yeah, I got you. Up, and back down. Okay, now smooth out the movement. There you go. Okay, pull your toes to your shin. Yeah, look at that. This is going to make him <laughs> crazy flexibility here. Lock your knee. There we go. Under 300 pounds, and, I'm <laughs> and toes. Okay, so I don't know if it's because of of this or if it's because of that, but mm -hmm. these don't dorsiflex as much as they should. These toes don't pull oh. as hard as they should. Okay, oh. so it's either an injury or it's a lack of focus. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Now, as you come up, stay in the sagittal plane. So try not to deviate out towards the shoulder. Try okay. and stay. Yeah. Now, see what look what that big toe is doing. See how it's curling this way? Yeah. I want to pull it towards your shin. That's weird. <laughs> I'm trying. It's because it's, it's neurological stuff also. So that's why your toe is rebelling. Yeah. Is it? Uh, <laughs> and again, once we go into new ranges of motion, yeah. weird shit happens. What can I tell you? Okay. I'm going to switch sides. And lock, lock. And give me pressure this way, all the way up to your nose. Yeah. And right there is good. Okay. Now your big toe is doing the same thing. Pull it this way. There we go. Excellent. Okay, a little more dorsiflexion at the ankle. Pull that toe. Good. Happy knee. Excellent. Lock, lock. Stabilize here. Good. Up. This shit is literally like a workout when you're like done. <laughs> it is a workout. <laughs> because it's not passive. It's all, right? It's all motivated and yeah. you're sweating, you're fucking <laughs> you know, all done, we're ready to go. Body is warm up and ready to go. It's your fifth workout today. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So remember that baseline yeah. we started with? Uh, right when I had you come up here and we were just below 90. Yeah. Right? Now lock lock lift. Okay, so we were here, mm -hmm. we are there. Mm -hmm. So that's an increase of about 15 degrees yeah. without stretching at all. Right. Lock, lock, lift. Now, take your shin to my hand. Don't kick. Take your shin to my hand. There you go. Now, give me pressure. And now turn your whole leg this way and your whole leg that way. 
Grind your shin across my hand. Grind. Good. And here. Lock, lock, go. And grind. Pull, pull, pull. Yes. <laughs> Quads, quads and hip flexors are burning. Yep. And I feel nothing in my hams. Well, I mean, I mean, like, mobility. yeah, but that's what I'm saying is, <laughs> there's no pain in the I was the stretching, hands. but I was feeling it in my hip flexors and my quads. Yeah. Which is crazy. Because you were doing work with your hip flexors. Right. Your quads and anterior tibialis. But right. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, something that kind of backs up what you're saying is uh, that they say that. Like say you're doing arms, mm -hmm. and they did studies where if you do, if you just do a curl by itself, yes. and how much weight you can do, if you do a push down, heavy, and then right to a curl, you're stronger. Yes. After the push down. Yes. There's something about with the opposite We're muscle inhibition. Absolutely. They also so you're found, stronger doing the tricep first, which doesn't make any. You know. They also found if you do the tricep extension on the, on one arm or just uh, an isometric or uh -huh. that your bicep curl will be stronger with that innervation. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's actually where the term cross training originated back in Russia in the 40s. But yeah. So. Cool. <laughs> that's some crazy ass shit right there. Yeah. My shit's burning. <laughs> I feel like I just squatted for a half an hour. Cool, man. Well, I'm glad I got to show uh, that to you. Thanks, brother. That was awesome. So you guys need to check that shit out. I'm definitely going to check it out. I'm looking into it. and I need to find a partner. Yeah. I need a partner. Will you be my partner? Sarah. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. This is some crazy good-ass shit.